John from Backcountry Binders 4x4. We're just installing the straight steer, solving some suspension issues here. What we've done is we've gone ahead and cleaned the inside of the frame rail, both sides. And we've gone ahead and taken a file, cleaned down any of the factory uh, welds, because uh, sometimes the weld boogers pop out, and we just filed those down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our straight steer, and we're going to mount it up in place. It's a little bit tight, but that's the way it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to just fall up into place. So, push a bolt over, and we'll catch a second bolt in. Those two in. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take the piece of C channel box tube or C channel tubing, clean that up a little bit. Now that comes on the inside of this frame rail here and distributes the load. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and take it and move to the outside of the frame rail and use it to distribute the load since this side of the frame rail does not have the sleeves through the frame. We're using the holes for the two old for the steering box on the right hand drive scout. Bingo. One more. It's through. And we'll go ahead and put a couple of these Stover lock nuts on the back side. And you can see how that also protects the oil pan on the front from frontal impact damage. And the nice thing about our straight steel braces, they're half inch steel. Corners are welded so there's no fatiguing. We also have this cutout right here which clears the radiator. You can see if we didn't have this cutout right now, the radiator hose would be touching and we'd be in for another 45 minutes of labor time to go ahead and drop, uh, re remove the radiator fluid, trim the hose back, and reattach it to get the hose from rubbing on here. Otherwise, it would lead to a trail failure or at some point in time it would cut through the hose. So now we're just going to snug that down and our straight steer brace is installed. Uh, it takes about 15 minutes. So uh, it's one of the nicest things you can do to a scout and um, it'll eliminate about 90% of the twisting on the frame rail that cracks the frame rail behind the steering box because of the bump steer. Anyway, thank you very much for another video from Backcountry Binders 4x4.